of Allah who is the most gracious and merciful. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I hope you all are fine and enjoying your good health. Today the topic we are going to discuss is about tolerance. So first of all we have our first guest Hafsa Asghar with us. Assalamu alaikum Hafsa. Wa alaikum salam Mariam. First of all I would like to ask that what do you think about tolerance? Can you explain with it with an example? Thank you so much Mariam in my opinion. Tolerance means to bear things you don't like. For example, when you are in the position to take revenge but you do not do so, you are displaying tolerance. The greatest tolerance was practiced by our Rasul Thank you so much for this precious opinion. Now my second question is that, can you give me an example of tolerance from the life of our Prophet peace be upon him? Yes, sure. When our Rasul went to Taif to preach Islam, the people there threw stones on him. Has Jibrail alayhi salam asked the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the occasion of trial, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam speak, if you saw which I will destroy them. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, O gracious and merciful Allah, show them the right path for they do not know what they are doing, they do not recognize me, they do not know I am the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the last prophet of Allah, make it known to them that I am the great valisher. Thank you so much, mashallah, such a beautiful example. Thank you so much, Mariam. Now we have our second guest, Zainab Shahzad, with us in the studio. Assalamu alaikum, Zainab. Wa alaikum assalam. My first question is that how our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a model of tolerance for all of us. Thank you so much. I would like to share that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never wished ill for anyone. Hazrat Aisha Raziyallahu said that the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never took revenge upon anyone. Abu Sufyan was the worst enemy of Islam before he became a Muslim. At the conquest of Makkah, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never not only forgave him but also honored him by declaring a ministry for those who, who took refuge in his house. Thank you, Zainab, for this valuable information. Now, my last question is that how Muslims can practice tolerance in their lives. We as Muslims should follow the noble examples of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the deterioration and conflict prevailing in the society due to lack of tolerance. These men can only be cured by the following the noble examples of our beloved Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thank you Zainab and Hafsa for this beautiful conversation with us. Hope you all learned a lot from this video. We will meet you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.